All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're here with more Hearthstone, and we're taking on more of the the Doctor Boom Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. Let's go ahead and hop right in. We got we got more puzzles. We got more puzzles about us. I'm here for it. Okay, so I've decided. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna take on more lethal. Those are my favorite kinds of puzzles. Figuring out how to win this turn. I've been working on some experiments with Necrium. Come, let's dance. All right, so we're taking on Myra Rotspring. Trust her, you're helping. These are fun. These are these have been fun so far. These are my favorite puzzles because these are the most like a round of Hearthstone. If you ask me. Uh, uh, you, have, you have to find lethal. You have lethal in your hand. You have to find it. Rexa versus Myra. Again, the goal of lethal is destroy the enemy hero, more or less this turn. You want to do it this turn. Time to put this necrium to good use. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's explain what we have on the board. Myra doesn't have any minions, and she has 11 health. What's her ability? Oh, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess it's saying I need to win this turn. Um, our board, we have Tundra Rhino, which says our beasts have charge. If we play a beast, they can attack this turn. And Tundra Rhino is a 2-5. We have a frozen strangled thorn tiger, which has five five and stealth. That's interesting that it's frozen. Uh, if somehow I can unfreeze it, I guess it'll be able to attack because it is also a beast. Oh, I have to silence it with iron beak owl. I think that's an interaction a lot of people don't know works. Weapons, poisons, more weapons. I think I think that's an interaction that a lot of people don't know works. Being frozen is a is an enchantment, and silence gets rid of enchantments. So it's gonna get rid of the fact that it has it has stealth. That doesn't matter. It's also gonna get rid of the fact that it's frozen, and because it's a beast, it has charge. Charge is not an enchantment. It's not enchanted. It's just a current board state. If you're my minion and you are a beast, you have charge. Uh, Iron Beak Owl is also a beast, so we'll be able to attack with it. So that's two attack, that's five attack, and that's two attack. Two plus two plus five is nine. So we've got to find, what, two more points? Found it. <laughs> so we silence our tiger, and it can now attack. Five plus two plus two plus two. Oh boy. All right. So this side effects don't scare me. I'm already dead. Let's check out Myra's side. Myra has 20 health. She has two Frost Wolf Grunts, which are two twos with taunt, which means we're going to have to attack them first if we want to attack Myra. She also has King Crush. That's not fun. That's not fun. King Crush is a 8 8 with charge. Let's see. Our side, we have Sylvanas Windrunner, which is a 5-5 five five that says Death Rattle. Take control of an enemy minion. So clearly, oh, I'm sorry, a random enemy minion. We're going to want to take control of King Crush. I can already see that. But it's at random. So if we don't know for a fact that she only has King Crush, let me say that better. If she doesn't... How would this work on someone living? If she doesn't only have King Crush on her side, then we don't know what we're going to take. It'll be at random. I'm going to assume that the game has set up the scenario so randomly we're not taking King Crush. We need to guarantee that we're taking King Crush. Okay. Fine by me. Uh, our hand. In hand, our minions, we have the Cobalt Geomancer, a 2-2 with spell damage plus 1. And then when it comes to spells, we have Holy Smite, which deals two damage. We have Potion of Madness, which gives us control of an enemy minion with two or less attack until end of turn. I'm pretty sure it'll make it so they can attack. Uh, we have Mind Blast, which deals five damage to the enemy hero. And we have Shadow Word Death, 
Destroy a minion with five or more attack. I'm not rotting any faster. Hold on, Myra. Okay. So like I said, I want to guarantee that we take King Crush. I think one way I can do that is if I use Potion of Madness. Oh, I have seven mana. If we use Potion of Madness on one of the taunts and use that to attack the other. Then if I attack Myra with Sylvanas, that's five damage to her, so she's at 15. Then I destroy Sylvanas myself with Shadow Word Death. I'll guarantee steal King Crush. And I'll be able to attack with him. That's another eight points. So five plus eight is 13. I need to find seven points. Let's see. That's one mana here and three here. That's four. An interesting approach. Can't say I'd have done the same. I have three mana left, so I can play both Mind Blast and Holy Smite. How much did I say I needed? Five and eight is 13. She's got 20, so we need seven health, seven damage. That's two. Uh, that's five and two. Looks like I found the answer. Let's gain this guy. We'll attack here. Sylvanas will attack Myra. We destroy our Sylvanas. We take King Crush. Because it's the only possible answer, only thing to take. King Crush attacks. We drop Mind Blast. And then we hit her with Holy Smite. Bam! I'm glad I'm not alive for this. I've actually run into that scenario in a game before. <laughs> that was that was I remember that game. That was a fun game. Alright. What do we got here? Ah, weapons. I like your style. Okay, so Myra's side of the board. She has 30 health, which means this is not going to be fun. And she's got the Spud Emmy. Uh, after this minion survives damage, switch sides. Death Rattle. Destroy your hero. Ooh. Destroy your hero. Okay. Destroy your hero is a fun, fun ability. I like that. <laughs> okay. So we need to kill this thing in one shot. This thing cannot take damage unless it dies. This thing cannot take damage unless it dies. Unless we're going to be having it take damage over and over and over. It needs to, let's see. Don't pull any punches. I'm already dead. So we either don't deal damage or we deal even times of damage. We either don't deal damage or we hit it twice or we hit it four times. We hit it six times because we need to be on her side when it's dead. So let's see. How can we do that? Uh, let's see. What do we have? I have a 1-1 one, one Wisp and a 2-4 Frothing Berserker that increases the amount of damage it deals whenever, it whenever a minion takes damage. Okay. So it's going to go up by one every time a minion takes damage. Let's see. And I have six mana. And in my hand, I have two weapons. I have the Fiery War Axe, a 3-2 three, for three. And I have the Blood Razor, a 2-2 two, two for four. A tricky element. It can warp the mind. A 2-2 two, two for four with both Battle Cry and Death Rattle deal one damage to all minions. Okay. And then we all, uh, a spell we have, we have Inner Rage, deal one damage to a minion and give it plus two attack. Okay. So let's see. I'm thinking we need to deal as much damage as we can to this so that this guy can kill it while it's on Myra's side. We got a couple, we got a couple possibilities here. Uh, let's see. The only catch, we can't play both weapons. So we're not going to be able to get the death rattle here. As much as I want to, we're not going to be able to get the death rattle for Blood Razor. We'll just get the battle cry at best. Let me see something. Working with new elements is always so exciting. If I attack here, this is on my side. It's at nine health. If I hit it with inner rage, it's at. Oh, wait a second. What if I hit it with inner rage first? It's on my side. It is a two. What is it? Two, 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 nine. So then when I, oh, I can't hit it with the wisp then. I can't hit it with the wisp. It'll be on my side. I need to play blood razor. 
but then that's gonna kill the wisp. Oh man, this one's crazy. <laughs> this one's crazy. Okay, let's see. I think I need to drop the fiery axe. Working with new elements is always so exciting. All right, let's play. Let's play. One here. This is at nine. This on that. It's at it's a two eight. So one damage, two damage. So this would be a four. Four. It'd be on that side. I could attack it. This would be eight, five. And this would be a big enough to kill it. Okay. So that's the order. Wisp. In a rage. I put on my axe. And I can attack it. Oh no, it's on my side now. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, let's start it over. Let's start it over. Resources that valuable can't go to waste. Okay. Oh, this one's crazy. Okay. So what if instead of Fiery War Axe, I play Blood Razor? That's three damage to everybody. Which means this will get instead of let's see this will get three more points than it had it to be able to kill it outright as at eight right i believe it'll be able to kill it at eight so that's two points there i'm sorry it's one point because only this took damage now if i hit it with inner inner rage this is gonna go to four uh -uh, i'm still messing up somewhere i'm still messing up somewhere because whether I attack first or or play Blood Razor, this is gonna be on my side. Hmm. This is this is rough. This is rough. If I attack it, it's gonna come over here. If I play Blood Razor first, it's going to come over here. I won't be able to attack it. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me see something. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Again. Do it again. I got I got this, Myra. I got this. We attack. I drop Blood Razor. This will switch back. It'll be a 0 8 and switch back. This will be a 6 4 because three minions are taking damage. And I don't need the Wisp anymore. Oh, I hit him with Inner Rage and then attack. Okay. Good job. You know what? Good job. This one was hard. <laughs> Game over. All right. That one was rough. I cannot lie. That one was rough. All right. So Myra's got 10 health this time, and she has a 3-3 bear with taunt. 3-3 three, three, uh, Iron Fur Grizzly. Yeah, it is a bear. Our side, we have a 2-3 Gurubashi Berserker. Gurubashi Berserker says whenever this minion takes damage, gain 3 attack. Doesn't matter how much damage he takes. If it takes damage, it gains 3 attack. And then we have a 2-1 Gurubashi Berserker. Same thing. Except he's going to die. If he takes damage, he's going to die right now. So unless we have a way to, to fix him. Let's see, what can we do? We have, for minions, Blood Mage Thalnos, 1-1 uh, one, one with spell damage plus one, and Death Rattle draw a card. Necrium is such a tricky element. It can warp the mind. And then when it comes to spells, we have Frostbolt, which deals three damage to a character and freezes it. 
And then we have Forbidden Flame. Spend all your mana. Deal that much damage to a minion. So let's see. We could... If I play Blood Mage Thalnos, it's going to make this deal four damage and this deal however much mana plus one. Let's see. These two attack right now. That's four to uh four to Myra. She's really at six. If I were to play Frostbolt on this, this is dead. So I really don't think I need to don't worry about punches. I'm already dead. I really think I don't need to worry about Thalnos. If we hit him right now, he's dead. This is four. We need to find six mana. Is there a way to chip this? I could hit it with my fire, more well, my fire bolt, fire blast. So he'd be at five. These two would be seven damage to Myra, but I still need one more point of damage. Let's see. To a minion. Ah, ah! I think I got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> I got it. I just got excited. Let's see. How would this work on someone living? If I spend no mana on Forbidden Flame, but I have Thalnos out, this is one point of damage, and I can put it on the 2 3 Berserker. But I'd have to get to no mana first. I'd also need a way to kill this. What I'm looking at is Thalnos. Oh, I have it. I can play everything and use my ability. Let's go Frostbolt here. Blood Mage Thalnos. Yeah. If I hit him for one point, he's going to go up from two attack to five attack. And now if I play Forbidden Flame, it's only going to deal one point of damage. I'm spending no mana, but he's giving it a bonus of one. So it's going to deal one point of damage here. Which is going to put him at 8, and that's 10 from both of these. For some reason, the numbers weren't connecting in my head. I was like, okay, I'm dealing him damage. I'm dealing him damage, but the numbers were adding up. Hands on research is the most efficient. Okay, Myra's side of the board. We have the Pompous Thespian, a 3 2 with taunt. Which means if we want to attack Myra, we're going to have to go through the Thespian first. Uh, our side, we have a Magma Rager, a 5-1. We have a Silence Kobold Geomancer, a 2-2 two -two with no ability. And our hand, our minions, we have the Leper Gnome. We have two copies of the Leper Gnome. Death Rattle, or I'm sorry, 1-1 one -one with Death Rattle deal two damage to the enemy hero. Uh, our spells, we have Shadow Step, return a friendly minion to your hand, it costs two less. Uh, backstab, deal two damage to an undamaged minion. Backstab, we have two copies of Backstab. We have a Razor Petal, which deals one damage. And we have Sinister Strike, which deals three damage to the enemy hero. Okay. So already, Shadow Step, I want to play that on our Silent Scobo Geomancer. It'll return it to my hand, it'll cost two less, which means it'll be free. And he'll deal uh, two points of spell damage. He will he will have his ability back, so he'll deal an extra point on spell damage. Only thing, we won't be able to attack with him. But I'm pretty sure we don't want to attack because he's going to die if we do. Let's see. Unless we do want to attack with him and we play backstab on an undamaged minion, the Thespian. We can get rid of the Thespian, and then he can attack... Uh, outright before we send them back to our hand i think i already think that's a good idea because with the test being gone we can also attack with the magma rager so now let's bounce shadow step or let's use shadow step to bounce him back to our hand he costs two less which means he's free let's see now he has his ability back so everything's dealing an extra point of damage Razor Petal to Myra would put her at six. This would put her at, uh, Sinister Strike would put her at two. 
We need to find two points. We can play a Lepronome and then kill it ourselves. That's two points there. Bam. Bam. Oh boy. All right. So Myra's side. <laughs> Myra's side. Uh, let's see. Let's go left to right. We have a 6-5 with taunt. We have a 4-4 four, four with taunt that says death rattle, deal two damage to all characters. So if this guy dies, our boy's going to die. Uh, we have a 5-4 with taunt. We have a 3-2 with taunt. And we have a 3-4 with taunt. Our side, we have Gromash. Hell scream. Who has charge. I'm sorry, he's a 4-9 and has charge. But he also has plus 6 attack while he's damaged. So right now he is a 10-2. He's taking what? 7 points of damage. That's wild. That's wild. Uh, let's see. Our hand, minions, we have Blood Mage Thalnos. Can't say I'd have done the same. We have Blood Mage Thalnos, a 1-1 one, one with spell damage plus 1 and death rattle. Draw a card. That's all we have for minions. Okay. Spells, we have Shield Slam, which deals 1 damage to a minion for each armor I have. We have Upgrade, if I have a weapon, give it plus 1, plus 1. Otherwise, equip a 1-3 weapon. I have a 4-1 weapon. It's been increased already. Yeah, it's been upgraded already. So I have a 4-1 weapon. Uh, so if I play upgrade, it's going to become a 5-2. I'll be able to attack with it and deal 5 damage, and then I can attack once more if I can somehow get myself Wind Fury. Whirlwind, deal 1 damage to all minions. Uh, we already went over him. We have Cleave, deal 2 damage to 2 random enemy minions. We need to manipulate this so that we're dealing 2 damage to 2 minions that we know so it's going to kill. Applications. Weapons, poisons, more weapons. We have execute, destroy a damaged enemy minion, and rampage, give a damaged minion plus three plus three. Already, this is looking like a good idea to put on uh, Gromash so he doesn't die if this does. The, I think the hard part here is we only have six mana. <laughs> I think that's the hard part. Okay, so let's get started. If I put this on Gromash, I'm down to four mana. And he is a 13-5, which is great because that means he can deal with this. He will, he'll survive this. But if he's a 13-5 and I find a way to kill this, all I have to do is keep do is keep Gromash alive and have him attack in. Because this will deal two damage to all How characters. Would this work on someone living? If so already I, I really want to use Rampage. I really want to use Rampage right now. I need to Use Rampage here. Kill him. This will die. These two will be at two health. And this will have three health. So if I attack here, I'm going to lose. I'm going to no. Do I want to attack here? I don't think I want to attack here. I think I want to attack here. If I upgrade and attack here, I just need to find a way to kill this guy. I just need to find a way to kill this guy without attacking with Gromash. So let's see. That's three men I've spent so far. Two here and one here for my upgrade. Yeah, I have three mana left. Can I find this with three mana? Don't pull any punches. I'm already dead. Three mana left. Let's 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 get that out of the way so I can look at this puzzle a little bit better. Let's upgrade my weapon. I'll attack here. And then we'll rampage on uh, Gromash. Okay. So I just need to find a way to kill this. And then we're, and then Cleave? Oh, no. Yes, because that's all that's left. Okay. So I, I need to find a way to kill this and then Cleave. Cleave is two mana. So that means I really only have one mana left. And this ain't it. This ain't it. Cause I don't have any I don't have any armor. Okay, so that's not the answer. Wait. 
Okay, I see what I should have done. I see what I should have done. I think I do. Instead of upgrading this, I should have attacked here. Necrium is such a tricky element. It can warp the mind. Okay, I see. I see what should have happened. I 100% see it. I'll reset the experiment. All right. So we rampage Gromash instead. That's the first move. I attack here. This deals two damage to everybody. This guy's dead and this guy's damaged. I can then use execute to get rid of him and then drop. Ooh, is that right? I drop cleave. Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. These two are left and they only have two health. I then drop cleave and attack in. That's the way it should have gone. I was close. I can execute this guy. Cleave. It only has two options. Grow my shin. I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I like the name of this one. <laughs> okay. What do we have? <clears throat> what do we have? Uh, Myra doesn't have anything on her side of the field, and she has 30 health. We have the Glotron, a 1-3 with Magnetic. Actually, we have two copies of those. Magnetic says, play it to the left of a mech to fuse them together. Okay. Um, Minions we have in hand. Auction Master Beardo, after you cast a spell, refresh your hero power. He's a 3-4. Our hero power is currently, I say currently because I know it's important, uh, reinforce, summon a 1-1 one, one Silver Hand Recruit. Our next minion we have is Blackwalled Pixie. Elements is always so exciting. Blackwalled Pixie, Battle Cry, refresh your hero power. So we have two ways to use our hero power more than once. Another black walled pixie, refresh your hero power. Uh, spells, we have battery pack, refresh all your mana crystals. We got two copies of those. Good. That's, uh, that's exactly what I want them to say. Uh, next spell, we have hammer of wrath, deal through damage, draw a card. That's not going to be good for us. We don't have any cards. Um, and the last card in our hand is Uthon, Uth, excuse me, Uther of the Ebon Blade. It will change our hero from regular into this. Uh, Battle Cry equip a Fire 3 Lifesteal weapon, and his hero power becomes uh, summon a 2 2 horseman. If you have all four, destroy the enemy hero. So already it's looking like that's what we want to do. Any because we don't really have any other way to win this. Okay, so let's see. If we play him first, we won't be able to do anything else aside from refreshing our, our, our uh, mana crystals. I think that's how we get started, isn't it? Because we want to we want to get all four. So I mean, we're, we're going to have to use our hero power four times. Let's do this. The light's justice has failed. All right. So let's see. Uh, Lifesteal. Okay. So here we go. Let's refresh off rip so we can do other things. If we. Huh. So clearly we want to use this before we play any of these. Clearly. So there's one horseman. No peace, no rest. Um. I guess I want to play Blackwalled Pixie, right? Blackwalled Pixie. If we play Blackwalled Pixie, we can use our hero power again immediately. Then I guess I want to play Beardo. So all I have to do is cast a spell to refresh my hero power. What fools these mortals be? And then we can use it right here. Oh, I just got to watch. Oh, no. I'm already too deep. I didn't. I forgot. We can only have seven minions in play. We can only have seven minions in play. So if I play Beardo, that's six. I can use my hero power again, but I can't get the fourth one. 
Damn it. I wanted to do this one right the first time. <laughs> I wanted to do this one right the first time. All right. So we know we have to play this. The light's justice has failed. We have to refresh. Oh, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. Undo that. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> I'm a clown. I so can't do that. Things to try. Because it didn't. Okay, so as soon as I play this, all the cars that are glowing green and stuff, the, the stuff glowing green means I can do that. I can afford to do that, and all the conditions are necessary to do that. Because it wasn't glowing green, I thought I couldn't do it. It has to change my ability before. And now it'll glow. Oh, no, wait. I did that right then? Ugh, I'm, a, I'm just the biggest clown. I'm just the biggest clown. Okay, so let's get the horseman. And I guess I want to play Beardo. Death was merely a setback. Yeah, I guess I want to play... Ooh, I don't want to play Beardo, do I? Oh, I want to shoot one of these guys down. Right? Because even if I play Beardo... Let's see. If I play Beardo, and I have these two, that's three. Oh, I guess I could. I guess I could get all four. Let's see. Let's play Beardo. So we want to play a spell. We want to cast a spell. Um, If I cast this, I have to hit this or refresh, but I can't afford it. So I have to use that. So I guess I do want to get rid of one of these guys. I'm going to draw and take one for fatigue. Um, I guess we have to refresh. Let's go for two. Azeroth will be purified. If I play this, I'll be able to use it again. What fools these mortals be! And what am I doing wrong? The Good. time has come. I return. Because I'll be able to play this one, but A, my board's filled, and B, I'm out of mana. What am I doing wrong here? None of these are mechs, right? Because if they were mechs, I could magnetize. None of these boys are mechs. Huh. Huh. What am I doing wrong? Let's see. There's nothing special about it but lifesteal. What am I doing wrong? All right. Let's, a good call. Clear the slate. let's take a look at this one. Let's take a real look at this one. Clearly, I want to play Uther first, right? There's no way I could attack in for lethal. Clearly, I want to play Uther first. Uther? The light's justice has failed. And now the only thing I can do is refresh. I can't attack these fellows. Nah, I can't attack them. Okay. If I refresh, what are these three fours? Okay. If I refresh, use the ability. No peace, no rest. Do I really want Beardo now? If I play Beardo, I have to cast a spell. If I play Beardo, I have to cast a spell to refresh my hero power. If I play Hammer of Wrath, I'm wasting one mana. I'm wasting one mana because I have to refresh before I can use this again. Maybe I don't play Beardo right now. I play Beardo. I use my power. Play Beardo. I'm at five. Use my power. I'm at three. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I An play. Interesting approach. Can't say I'd have done the same. Left side means I can use my ability. Right side means I can't. I play Beardo. 
I play. Oh, I can't play Beardo. I can't play Beardo because the only way I can use my power is by wasting the battery pack. It's not Beardo I'm playing. I play the Pixie. Wait, over here. I play the Pixie so now I can use my power again. I use it. Pixie. Pixie and powers. Five mana. I use it, then I play Beardo. Play the Pixie. That's three mana. I use my power. That's five mana. I have three left. So many applications. Weapons, poisons, more weapons. I play Beardo and cast Battery Pack. I can use it again. I use my ability. Hammer of Wrath on one of the magnetics. I can use my power again. I think that's it. I think that's it. If I play Beardo now, uh uh, uh uh, I play a pixie. What fools these mortals be! Use my ability. The time has come. I return. I play Beardo. Time is money, friend. I get all my mana back and I get my ability back. If I shoot down this guy, wait, I use my ability. I, sh was merely a setback. I shoot down this guy. That's one, two, three, and four. But well done. Yo. <laughs> Yo. This is crazy. This is madness. I like this. <laughs> All right. Two down. It looks like we got, what, two more to go? Maybe three? All right. I'm with it. I'm with it. If you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video goes live to the channel or whenever I do something special like Dr. Boom's The Boom Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. Y'all know I love me some puzzles. I love me some puzzles.